numbers in exponential format exist with fractional and decimal exponents as well. Just like I wrote here, 8 to the power of 1 third and 51 to the power of 3.7. These would be fractional and decimal exponents. They are not rocket science. And if you watched my super long video on exponents and scientific notation, this is going to be fairly straightforward and almost instinctive. Almost. So, just as with any exponential formatted numbers, we have here a base and we have an exponent. Exponent. The one third is the exponent and the eight is the base. 51 is the base and 3.7 is the exponent. Now, whether a number is in a decimal format or in a fractional format, it's still a number. It doesn't really matter which format it is. It's not a whole number, it's a number. So, the ideas that worked in uh, uh, whole number exponents will work exactly the same way here. Somewhere between, say, I'm going to pick another base uh, so we can visualize some of these numbers. For example, 2 to the power of 2 and 2 to the power of 3. Somewhere halfway between them here is 2 to the power of 2.5. I hope that makes sense. And somewhere between 2 to the power of 2 and 2 to the power of 1, there is 2 to the power of 1.1, 2 to the power of 1.2, 2 to the power of 1.3. You get the idea. So that's how you can visualize these decimal exponents. Or you can go fractions, uh, say 2 to the power of 1.25. Where is my whiteout? I'm going to change this one to left. 2 to the power of 1.25 and 1.25 is the same as 1 and a quarter. There, 2 to the power of 1 and a quarter is between 2 to the power of 1 and 2 squared. The value of fractional or decimal exponents will be therefore somewhere between the value of the numbers written in an exponential format. So if 2 to the power of 1 was 2 and 2 squared is 4, we can make a reasonable estimate that 2 to the power of 1 and a quarter will be somewhere around 3, maybe a little less than 3, something like that would be a reasonable estimate. And 2 to the power of 5 and 2 to the power of, sorry, 2 to the power of 2 and 2 to the power of 3, 2 to the power of 3 is 8. I don't have anywhere to write it, so I'm going to write that one there, because that means 2 by 2 by 2. And uh, a number between 4 and 8, uh, 2 to the power of 5, 2.5 could be reasonably estimated to be 6. It's not 6, okay? It doesn't work that way, exactly, but it's reasonably close to 6, okay? So definitely more than 4, and certainly less than 8. So 6 is an educated, reasonable guess. And I'll show you why it's not exactly 6. Okay, it's coming up. Just, just give me a minute here. The reason for it is I have here a graph. Let me explain this thing here. Here are the powers of 2 along this axis. 2 to the power of 0. 2 to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4. Of course I can put negative exponents on it, but just, just go with, just work with what we have here. So 2 to the power of 1, sorry, 2 to the power of 0 is 1, so there's one point there. 2 to the power of 1 is 2. 2 squared will be 2 by 2, so that's 4. 2 to the power of 3 will be 2 by 2 by 2, so that's going to be 8 which lives there and 2 to the fourth power is 16 which is yeah it still fits the shot excellent 
2 to the power of 4 is 16, so there's 16 squares. Alrighty, now if I connect these with a straight line, yay so, from dot to dot a straight line, okay, not because all of them don't fit on a single straight line, I think it's fairly obvious that they don't all fit on a straight line, eh? it's, it's, it's not a straight line if you look into it any which way. And uh, here you can see that 2 to the power of 2.5 would be somewhere here. And it hits there. If that's 4, that's 5, that's 6. It hits somewhere between 5 and 6. So how about 5.5? That would be a reasonable estimate here for 2 to the power of 2.5. Okay, so six. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, that's close enough. But uh, two to the power of uh, uh, two and a half is better estimated to be five and a half. Now, likewise, uh, two to the power of say three point five would be here. Let's see. From eight to sixteen, the difference is four there. So that's the halfway. Halfway through is twelve, right? But uh, 2 to the power of 3.5 hits, where's my ruler? Hits the graph somewhere there. Somewhere there. Around 11. Okay? It definitely doesn't hit at 12. 12 is too much. It's somewhere around 11. Okay? And the reason for it. Uh, or the reason why it's uh, why, for example, two to the power of two point five is not exactly six, is because this is actually a curve. It instead of straight line segments, this, these points should be connected with one line that's uh, bent or curving, and uh, if the line is properly laid out then you can read it from the graph with more accuracy. And of course we have calculator to do it and display a number accurately. I'm going to do this with the powers of 10 here. 10 to the power of 2 is 100 and 10 to the power of 3 is 1000. But 10 to the power of 2.5 which is halfway between here now I almost ran out of room, 10 to the power of 2.5. Let me see, from 100 to 1000, that's a jump of 900 here. That's 900 in total. So half of nine, 900 would be 450, that's halfway through. And 450 needs to be added to 100, so it's about 550-ish. 2 to the power of 2.5 is could be, could be estimated to be 550, but on a calculator here, you've got a secret button here that says log on it. That doesn't relate to timber or lumber or falling or felling trees. What you do is, uh, let's enter 550, let's enter log 550 equals, to get to 550 it's 10 to the power of 2.7 exactly for the same reason why it didn't work out exactly uh, halfway between 8 and 16 for 2 to the power of 3.5 and, and it's not exactly between 4 and 8 2 to the power of 2.5 likewise the halfway mark 500, 550 is not at 10 to the power of 2.5 it's at 10 to the power of 74 or pretty close to two, 10 to the power of 2 and 3 quarters. I haven't talked about the log button and I haven't talked about logarithms. Don't worry about it. It's another video. But you can see and get it intuitively that it's doing exponents backwards is what it is. And to have a value to, two, to 10 to the power of 2.5 what you need to do is 10 and then you press this XY button 10 to the power of 2.5 equals 316. 
not 550 so again like I said because the because the exponents are non-linear they have a curvature to it so to the, uh, 10 to the power of 2.5 is gonna hit the graph at 316.227 so that would be my brief explanation for fractional and decimal exponents and their meaning